tired of this <laughs> i know it look funny right now but i'm trying to rush so the boys and i are going for a staycation just for a night we have so we're going to peterborough in a few minutes the boys will be home and i'm just trying to rush i'm trying to be a little bit more intentional this month so i have on this dress that i got from shein i'll show you the full fit in a few minutes i'm using my minimalist stick from merit this thing is such a game changer if you don't want to do full face so i did some meal prep i'm going to be packing some of what i made earlier in the day i'm also going to be packing some um i've packed our boxes so i'll show you that in a minute anyway you guys we've already booked our accommodation for the day and i'll give you a room tour minimalist makeup because i don't even think i have strength that powerful for lashes i can't be bothered this week is from Shein. so i still have a couple more toiletries to pack i'm also going to be packing some of the food that i've made just going to be packing my skincare things so i haven't decided if i want to put on the jacket for this dress or put on another denim jacket but i don't know i think i'll sort myself out when i get there because at this point i'm really not sure Lovely. so we are ready to go now the boys are already putting the things in the car i just have that last box to take with me and then we're going so i spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter p you need it for electricity Oh, your daddy's just getting it. Since I said it, your daddy's just getting it. Nobody can win me. This game. Ropes. What kind of ropes? Electricity ropes. Well, you're very correct. It's power line. Power line. It starts with the letter what? T. That was so easy. I know. Like I spell with my little eye something that starts with the letter S. The letter S. Sky. Yeah. The sign. The sun? No. <laughs> S. Yeah. The screen. Will screen. <laughs> S. Streets. No. Silos. No. It cannot die. And it starts with S. Lovelies and welcome to this segment of the video. This segment has proudly been sponsored by Yuki Oil. So they sent me a ton of their products to try out in the video today. They have sent me some of their essential oils and some of their premium fragrance oils. I'm going to be showing you some of my absolute favorites here and how I mix and combine them. So for example, the first one I will be trying is the Yuki premium fragrance oil and this is in the flavor bubble gum so this one i picked specially for my boys because they use shea butter that's the only thing that is moisturizing enough for their skin especially as we are just coming out of winter so this is what the bottle looks like and each bottle comes with a dropper each bottle comes with a dropper like this properly packed like that so just in case you'll be traveling most of the time well personally when i'm not using this i'm going to be sealing it back with this it also comes with this stopper here so you can pour out drops so as i was saying you guys um for the boys they are only able to use shea butter because that's what's moisturizing enough for their skin but i just want to you know mix it up for them and add some fragrance to it because as we know shea butter can be very 
pungent very strong in smell so this is one of the oils i'm just going to be combining with that just to amp the smell and just give it a refreshing um or a better smell um to the shea butter so look out for that i also got one that is aromatic this is the yuki oil essential oil and this is in the flavor star anise it's a really nice scent to have so this is what it looks like in the bottle it also comes with its own dropper and it has a very rich smell this one i'm probably going to just put in my diffuser and you know just get it smelling in the house i really love the packaging they have some amazing packaging here you guys i won't even lie this product are really really good now this is one of their fragrance oils that i absolutely love they made this into like a perfume already so it, it is a blend of some things this one is called lily of the valley and it has a really lovely note to it so you can put this in your diffuser, you can put this in a bath, you can have massages with this, um, scented candles, perfumes, you can top this up with your own perfume as well. Just give it a little mix. Now just to show you guys, this is one of my unscented candles. I usually buy this in a set. I bought this in a set of 12 and this is one of the unscented ones. What I usually do with things like this is I'm going to take this lily of the valley and put that in the dropper here just to get that going and let you just permeate now while the lily of the valley is going over here in my candle stand i'm going to be using my diffuser and using this one this is one of their fragrance oil this is the pumpkin spice i'm just going to put a few drops into my humidifier here oh that smells good i'm also going to be mixing the pumpkin pie with some essential oil this is the sweet orange flavor all right so if you guys are also looking to get these items and i highly suggest that you do you can find these items on amazon and you can also find this on their official website uh you will also be able to find direct links to their products in my description box along with my promo code for you guys to partake of amazing discounts as you shop thank you again to yuki for sponsoring this video let's get on with the rest of today's video Anyway, you guys, by the time we got there, the sun had already started to set really quickly and we were just making our way into the place. We had to also sort out how we we're going to get the key from the agent. And as soon as we got the key, we went in. Honestly, it was more than what I expected. I was really expecting like a really used up space, but it was good. And I tried not to look at the pictures before we actually i saw the place physically so yeah it was a good surprise the boys loved the place um it was sort of a new build so that was good all right you guys so let's do a quick house tour by the way this is a two-bedroom house here in peterborough now if i were to guess i would say that this house is somewhat brand new it's not very old and it is quite energy efficient you guys can see that I have no jacket or any warm clothes on at all. Alright you guys, so starting from the entryway, as soon as you come in through the door, you are going to see this really short hallway that has four doors and we're going to be opening all of them before we move into the living area. Alright, so to my left we have the intercom and the um, temperature gauge that you can you check the temperature with. And this is the first room, this is where the boys spent the night. It was quite cozy had the basic amenities and it was quite good moving out to the bathroom this is the first bathroom to the right and it has a tub one shampoo no one conditioner and a used up shower gel which was quite funny to see uh some towels a very dirty mat <laughs> honestly the management here was rubbish but the place was really beautiful this is the utility room it was all over the place and then we had some wires on the floor as well as the router just lying there and this is the master bedroom that is also in suit 
the bed was a good size and it had adequate lighting as well i really love the structure the the furniture as well quite good um they had this um, small bedside lamp by the side it was just on one side and that was what that was it looked like it was missing another drawer but i don't know so this bed had four bare pillows and the other room had no pillows but anyway this is the bathroom in the master bedroom complete with a toilet sink and a shower hub and yeah this is what it looked like it also had some used up toiletries as well well honestly you guys i don't know what goes into managing a bnb but that was what our experience was anyway moving on to the living area this is what the living room looked like very spacious i love the decor i love the theme as well it was matching really nicely and they had this um cozy little dining area in the corner and an open plan kitchen complete with a dishwasher a washing machine a hub as well as an extractor fan also in one of these cabinets you find the um radiator or what's it called the hot water um combi boiler that's what it's called anyway uh, the fridge is also in one of these enclosed cabinets i'm also going ahead to just wash my rice because i told you guys i brought some food along so earlier in the day i made some vegetable and i just brought some rice to boil so that we can have that because i really try not to eat out whenever we go out like this so i have my stew and vegetable soup in that bowl i'm just transferring that into a pot to heat it up and yeah it was really really easy to fit into this environment because they had um, basically everything you need in a home they had pots pans spoons utensils they even had some cereal for the boys breakfast in the morning as you will see in a couple of slides to come so yeah we just decided to put the food on the fire and get some work done hubby and i are just sitting here in the dining area while the boys are just floating around on their tablets and on the tv as well there's more to come on that particular subject but anyway you guys as the foot is getting ready we're also trying to you know see what we can do in the time i don't know if i've mentioned this before but my husband is here in peterborough for a meeting and he's just trying to prepare for that before he leaves the house um we are just you know in this nook here trying to connect to the router because we're giving the passcode as well and yeah the internet was quite fast i will admit that much because coming from where we are coming from we don't really get that much or that great of an internet service except we are connected to our router which is such a huge lifesaver i believe different um, service providers are good in certain areas but anyway the router was was good enough for us so i just rinsed off my rice now and i'm putting that back on the fire i'm adding some salt provided by the airbnb um did it, i couldn't find any veggie oil or sunflower oil or any oil for that matter so we just had to have our rice without and i'm here just feeling myself really loving the ambience of this home it's really nice really modern really spacious and it's airy like you know it's a really good family space but anyway, banter between husband and wife, do not judge. Look the other way or close your eye. Close your eye. Alright. <laughs> so once the food was almost done, I decided to take a break from doing some work and watch some TV, hang out with my boys and interact. Because we are what? On vacation. We just took the time to you know, just see a movie for the little time my husband had before his meeting and, you know, we see a tv program together um the boys were not really keen on what we were watching but anyway once the food was done we served it all and everyone ate my husband soon left afterwards and yeah it was just time to you know just unpack and get our stuff all settled and ready for the night the boys also changed into their pajamas um they had a very restful night because as soon as they were done eating they were ready to sleep we 
just brushed their teeth and we said a prayer and they put the boys to bed and then it was time to you know just catch up on some of the things that i was doing previously regarding work and then i went to sleep as well because it was quite late anyway i put our boxes or suitcases in the utility room bear in mind that i brought my own bed in i do not trust any bed in at all even if it's a five-star hotel i will still be that person to bring my own bed in i have laid our bed in on top of the hotel one and i'm just trying to sort out our toiletries for night time before i put the boys to bed and before i also go to bed myself just in preparation for the morning because our checkout time is by 12 in the afternoon and um, i just wanted everything to be where i can easily access it before it comes to the time but anyway once all of that was put away and the boxes were safely tucked away in the utility room it was just time to clean up and wash up after you know our dinner and everything and i was also trying to brainstorm because i only realized that i hadn't sorted out whether we were going to have a breakfast but thankfully there was cornflakes and cereal for them to choose from but anyway once everything was all washed up i just decided to clean up after myself and you know just clean the hub for where i've cooked um where the rice had spilled and all of that i would hate to leave a mess um not because they would charge me for anything like that but just for presentation wise you know you guys i don't know how it is with you guys but i've seen quite a number of videos on youtube on instagram of bnb airbnb owners who have you know taken to the internet to you know just show people the state um that the heavy and be have been left after they've had certain guests come over and i don't want to be one of those you know we really don't know who is watching who but anyway um i just decided to clean up uh get the place situated for the next morning but really f fully in mind that you know my boys were not going to regard that when they wake up hello this and welcome back to the channel it is the next morning and the boys are awake and are hungry they were not let somebody sleeping. It's not even nine o'clock yet, and they are already out of my bed. But anyway, you guys, I just want to fix them some breakfast. They have some cereal here, so I'm just going to give them that, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue my staycation because this soft life was meant for some people, and I'm one of them. So while the boys were deciding what they wanted to have for breakfast, I just decided to offload the dishwasher. Honestly, you guys, using this thing, it makes me just want to get one for myself back home because it, the convenience of just, you know, just giving it a, a scrub down and then letting the machine do the rest of the work is so, it can't be overstated, honestly, you guys, it is such a, a relief, you know, to have that kind of help because my boys go through quite a, lo a lot of plates and cups and spoons they go through quite a lot because they're constantly eating but anyway i just decided to warm some milk while they are deciding they finally decided on what they wanted and as soon as that was done um i just put the cereal in their bowls and then they sat down at the table that really cute uh, breakfast nook to eat their cereal and yeah and um, while they were eating i also decided to go ahead and continue editing some of my videos i try to do that whenever i have a few minutes to spare because i am always chasing my own deadlines but right now you guys know that i'm i'm only uploading on sundays for the now and that's just how it's going to be for quite some time just until i'm i'm able to sort myself out but anyway before i knew it it was almost time to check out and i literally had to rush myself and make sure that i've double checked everything make sure i haven't left anything behind got the boys got all their chargers or literally everything i was counting chargers counting this counting that shoes socks and everything just to make sure we didn't forget anything because peterborough is about an hour's journey from where we stay look at the look on my face when it was time to go you guys i didn't want to leave this place <laughs> understandably so because honestly i really enjoyed my stay here 
but anyway all good things must come to an end Abby. how do they say it i don't know anyway it was time to make our way back to this page hi lovelies so we have checked out now and now we are on our way back to our village but back to reality Yes, but I'll do. We've stopped by to get Yay, some money for Asha. Brioche. No. It's in a world of his own. So we we'll stopped by to get some some brioche. The boys had cereal, and my husband had some brioche bread. I've not had anything. Can you guys be quiet, please? Yeah, daddy is food. All right, so I've not really had anything to eat. That's because I'm really not hungry, and it's probably too early. It's still too early for me to eat anything. It's. 12 34 at the moment so by the time we get back to our village it should be around 1 30 thereabouts because it's about an hour's drive all right you guys it has been real i loved i loved the staycation see that place was really beautiful i wouldn't even lie it was really beautiful but the maintenance there is is a one over ten Maintenance is really rubbish and I I wish they would do something about that. Huh? But yeah, that was it. I really love this uh stay over there. Boys, did you enjoy our staycation? Yep, except the sleeping because Daniel was sitting me. Oh yeah, the boys had to share a bed and that was the first for them in years. I think the last time they shared a bed together was South probably Africa. yeah, well, South Africa was <laughs> probably three three four years ago three years ago but anyway you guys um that was that was fun that was an experience so yeah i will see you guys on our way back should we play a game when we're going back yeah you yeah. play another game or the same one the same i, I the same. my little eye. i spy with my little eye. that was a fun game and we actually played it all the way before we knew it was like seven minutes to our destination daddy's back what did you call You are always hungry, Asha. I That's yeah, I mean, you are perpetually I hungry. Back, I want to munch on food. Do you want I to want munch on food? food? I'm just talking about food. It's actually making food, me hungry. Food, food, food. Anyway, you guys, later. Yeah,